does all the brain tumors need surgery not necessarily so there are a few tumors like meningiomas which are small which is not causing any mass effect onto the brain or low grade gliomas which can be confirmed uh, with mri so they can be have a regular follow up and if there is increase in size of a tumor causing any mass effect then surgery is uh, is required so coming to surgical options so majority of the tumors need surgery one is to confirm the diagnosis second one is to relieve the symptoms and relieve the mass effect onto the brain most common tumor that is a glioma which is arising from the supporting cells to the uh, neurons they can range from grade 1 to grade 4 so grade 1 and grade 2 tumors are good grade 3 and grade 4 tumors are more aggressive of these grade 4 tumor that is the glioblastoma multiforme which is the most aggressive tumor which has a mean survival of around 12 to 18 months so any glioma unless it's turned to be low grade glioma need surgery and uh, with the latest technologies what we are using that is a navigation system uh, with the navigation system uh, we acquire the images from mri and feed to the navigation system and this navigation system acts as a gps for us in the operation theater helping us to exactly reach the tumor so that we can access only tumor without damaging the surrounding normal tissue apart from this for every uh, tumor case we also use something called as uh, introp neuromonitoring which gives us a live feedback uh, that is the uh, keeps on generating potentials which are visible on to the screen which helps us to uh, resect only the tumor and without damaging the normal surrounding tissue most of the brain tumors we use a microscope which is which gives us a good magnification so that we only excess the tumor and retain the normal surrounding normal tissue